Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. This week I've developed dozens of snippets of film. I've been striving to find the best way of developing with FX55. And I think I've come to a final conclusion. I think I found the best technique you can use with FX55 to get the best detail, the best contrast, the best prints. So let's have a look at what I've decided. There are three constants in development. I talk about it in my book. Temperature. We need to keep the temperature the same as much as possible as we're developing. I use 20 degrees centigrade for my development for nearly everything I do. So I focus a lot of attention to maintaining 20 degrees plus or minus half a degree. That's the accuracy that I think you need to be able to maintain if you want the best results. The second constant is agitation. We need to agitate the same way every single time. That way we know we're going to get the same results at the end. If we don't agitate the same, if we're sloppy with our agitation, we are not going to get the same results. We're going to get sloppy results and our pictures will not be as good as they should be. And finally, time. Of course, we need to keep our development time right. Once we've found our development time for our particular film in developer, we need to keep that time exact. And this is why, after all, we use a stop bath, because it stops development very quickly and keeps our time very, very tight. And that's what we need to aim for. So these three things, I think, are the three kind of constants in development that as you're improving your skill set in the darkroom you want to focus a lot of time doing these three things. Now in these experiments with FX55 I've kept the temperature the same. It's always been 20 degrees centigrade plus or minus half a degree. Time. That's always been one that I didn't know, so I had to make an educated guess at what time would give me the best results. And agitation was another one I had to change because I was trying to find out how the developer reacted with less agitation. This makes testing very difficult because I'm changing two things. So I have developed dozens of snippets where I kept the agitation constant for instance, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, and so on. And time, I've done snippets where I fixed on my agitation and changed the time. It makes very complicated testing. And at the end of the day, with FX55, I'm not sure we improved anything, which is really interesting because with many other developers, it certainly would have improved. Here is my scan of a standard agitation. This agitation was seven minutes, FX55, agitating for the first 30 seconds and then 10 seconds on every minute. And I finished development at seven minutes. It's quite a contrasty photograph and it's very nice. We love this sharpness. It's very sharp, very detailed, good acutance, a very nice picture. And this is an extreme minimal agitation negative. And I used 21 minutes for this. That I found was pretty good and gave me really nice printable negatives. I, did, I agitated for the first minute and then let it stand until minute seven. And then I gave it another 30 seconds. I then let it stand to minute 14 and I gave it another 30 seconds. And finally, at 21 minutes, I stopped and fixed the film. And this was the closest I got to the original print there. The trouble is, it's not as good. That's the bottom line. Let me put the two together there. On the left hand side is the regular development. Seven minutes, Ilford agitation. And on the right hand side, is extreme minimal agitation. There's no doubt EMA gave me a nice uh, looking print. It gave me a nice looking scan, but it's not as good as the original. I'm pretty amazed. I thought I would get some improvement, frankly, but I definitely have not got any improvement. I'm still sticking 
to the original agitation of FX55 as being the best for that chemistry. There's only one other way of using FX55 that I really liked, and that is when I diluted it one plus one. And I'll put a link to that video below because that was my favorite way of getting maximum detail, maximum micro contrast. Definitely a lovely way. The wow moment was the ultimate way of using FX55. Let's talk about the techniques I've been experimenting with over the last few weeks. Of course, regular development. And that's the development I've been using before I did all this testing. I've always used just regular development, Ilford agitation with FX55. The second technique I've been looking at, regular development, but with reduced agitation. So can we improve on the sharpness, on the micro contrast, by reducing the agitation. And this is sometimes called semi-stand development as well. The third technique I've looked at, diluted development. So I dilute FX55 more than normal. And then we try some semi-stand, stand, or extreme minimal agitation techniques to see if they will improve the developer. I've tested two bath development. Of course, FX55 isn't a two bath, but with the use of an alkaline bath B, we can make almost any developer into a two bath. And we used sodium metaborate solution. And finally, I've tested half strength development as well. Um, I reduced the strength by 50% of the developer, watered it down to half strength, and used standard agitation for an extended period of time. This is another technique used by many developers to increase sharpness, uh, to change the contrast of the developer and so on. Let's have a look at what we've been getting. So this was my regular development Ilford agitation. This was my preferred way of developing with this particular developer and it works really, really well. You know, I'll cut to the chase here. I don't know if many of these other techniques have beaten this. And we'll talk more about that in a minute, but this is a superb way of using this developer. It works so well straight out of the box. It's super sharp. It has beautiful contrast. It's great at, with skies. So there is some kind of compensation going on. I don't know how, but it's gr a great developer for skies. So I like it a lot. The next technique was by using regular development, but reducing the agitation. I tried two minutes between agitations. I tried three minutes between agitations and it gave me good results, but I don't think they were as good as the normal agitation technique. I didn't get any improvement. This said to me that when Crawley designed this developer, he designed it to be used best at its normal Ilford agitation. He knew, he balanced it in such a way that changing that agitation didn't really change the way the developer was working at all. Let's look at the diluted development results. Now, diluted development is a way of reducing the concentration of the developer and then leaving long periods between agitations. This is reduced agitation, semi-stand development, or EMA, sometimes called EMA. Now, this was the best result I got from EMA. So which was the winner? Which was the one that I thought became the best way of using this developer? Well, I've decided after all this testing for weeks, the number of films I've gone through, testing this developer, I've decided on two ways where you optimize your chemistry for your film. Now, of course, I've been using FP4 throughout this. It was just to keep one variable the same. I, I was changing many variables, so I didn't want to be changing my film all the time. So these results are for Ilford FP4. And 
I suspect they will work with other films too. So that's up to you to find out. You need to try these out yourself. But with FP4, the best results came for two techniques. The two techniques that I've decided are the best for use with this particular development is regular development. And if you want some compensation and also an increase in micro contrast, then half strength with regular agitation and add 75% to your regular development time. Those were the two techniques that I have decided are the best ways of using FX55. So they're the two that I would recommend to you to try with your own film and see how you find them coming out. It's easy enough to test them. Just take some photographs, cut the film in half, half do with regular development and do the other half with the half strength Ilford agitation and add 75% to your development time. And then compare those two. I found those two to be the very best ways of using FX55. You know, FX55 is quite remarkable. It gives me superb results with the films that I use. I really like it a lot. I'm going to start testing it now with other films that I don't regularly use, but I know some of you may. So I'm going to start looking at that. However, I'm not going to be putting out videos for the next few weeks because my second book is almost finished and it's so close now that I want to focus all my efforts on finishing the book off before I start putting videos out again. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you can catch those videos and the announcement of my new book when it's published very, very soon. I hope this has been useful for you to get the best out of FX55. Thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you very soon. And I hope to announce this book very soon too. So bye for now.